If we have a square matrix A and a non-zero vector X, we say that X is an eigenvector if multiplying A by X results in a scalar multiple of X. That scalar is what we call the eigenvalue denoted by lambda. In equation form, this is simply a times x equals lambda times x. This means that when the matrix A transforms the vector x, it only stretches or shrinks it without changing its direction. Now, let's see how we can actually calculate these values. Suppose we have a 2 by 2 matrix A with entries 0, 1, negative 2, and negative 3. We want to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix. We start by rearranging our definition equation. We can rewrite the right side using the identity matrix i, so it becomes lambda times i times x. Bringing everything to the left side, we get the quantity a minus lambda i all times vector x equals the zero vector. Since we defined x to be non-zero, the only way this equation holds is if the matrix a minus lambda i is not invertible. And if a matrix is not invertible, its determinant must be zero. This gives us our characteristic equation. The determinant of a minus lambda i equals zero. Let's compute this for our example. Subtracting lambda from the diagonal entries of a, we get a new matrix. Calculating the determinant gives us a quadratic polynomial. Lambda squared plus three lambda plus two. Setting this polynomial to zero allows us to solve for lambda. Factoring the quadratic, we find two roots. Lambda equals negative one and lambda equals negative two. These are our eigenvalues. To find the corresponding eigenvectors, we plug each eigenvalue back into our equation. For lambda equals negative one, we substitute it back and solve the resulting system of linear equations we find that any vector where the first component is the negative of the second component works. For example, the vector one, negative one. 